in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed of wonders is a warrior that arises because of his jealousy he does not arise until there is a reason to doubt his might when when a generation begins to forget him because it looks like there are many alternatives that look like him it's his jealousy that compels him to arise and he does something in a manner and a fashion that reminds people again look at Egypt look at Babylon Nebuchadnezzar built a statue 90 feet and that at the sound of all kinds of things they would bow. And God said, no, this is too much. Every once in a while men try to believe that they are God. I don't mean one with God, God. So the, the question comes again, Psalm 24. Who really owns the earth? Who really owns territories? And there will have to be a statement in the earth that the earth is the Lord's and its fullness thereof. Four things there. Number one, the earth. Number two, the resources. Number three, the mind control systems. Number four, the inhabitants. They all belong to him. It all belongs to you. Oh, it all belongs to you. It all belongs to you. Oh, oh, oh. Hallelujah. Daniel chapter 6, please, and verse 27. I really sense a strong anointing in this place now. He delivereth and rescueth. And he walketh signs and wonders in heaven and in earth. And by that formula, he had delivered Daniel from the power of the lions. The formula he used to rescue Daniel was not a suggestion. It was not a discussion. Are we together now? He used the formula of signs and wonders. His outstretched arm. That means that there are people following online. There are others sitting and saying, Apostle, how is God going to get my family out of this mess? I know the answer. It will not happen by human deliberations. I tell you that. There will need to be an introduction of the power, the grace of God. And it will happen in such a way and a manner that you will spend your life rejoicing and saying, Thank you. Thank you. Lord, the way you did it is even more than the fact that you did it. He had delivered Daniel. One spectacular manifestation of the wonder-working power of God can bring any family, can bring any individual. Are we together now? Can bring any organization. It does not matter the situation. Look, let me tell you, the Bible says the thing that was, the thing that is, is also the thing that was and the thing that shall be. That there is nothing new under the sun. Everything we are facing, someone had gone through it before. If it's corporate debt, if it's an issue of sickness, someone might be sitting here right now with a medical report. And whilst all of these teachings are going on, you are happy and you are saying amen. But something in you is saying, prepare your house for you will die. Let me introduce you to Isaiah 38, that there is a way the lives of men can be prolonged and death can be reversed. This is true. 
my concern is that people are already beginning to incorporate into their Christian experience the fact that it looks like God is not mighty enough. It's a subtle proposal that is coming from the pain of people and the, the, the plethora of disappointments. I prayed over this, it wasn't answered. Well, I give thanks in the midst of it. I pray over this, it wasn't answered. Well, I give thanks. I pray over this, it is not answered. When you have so many unanswered prayers, it can do something to your conviction. He said, but I know whom I have believed and I am persuaded that he is able, able to do, to keep, In the name of Jesus, he will help us to reintroduce again to the nations of the earth the full counsel of God. The God that still heals. The God that still delivers. The God that can still lift people overnight. It's true that God does not rush people, but God gives speed. Oh. He does, oh, God gives speed. That by this time tomorrow, you can look at your former self and wonder, there is, he does not just do these things. Listen, he does these things to show dominion over time. He also does these things to bring glory to his name. How else will an arrogant creation glorify our God if it happens at the sequence of men? I have released my faith as a person and I've said, Lord, every dimension of possibility that can find expression through me to give you glory, I am available. Every, without restraint whatsoever. If you will take raising the dead, I am available. If you will take healing the sick, I am available. Now, we respect every miracle, but I'm telling you, there are miracles that are still subject to debates and arguments and all kinds of things. There are miracles that the Bible calls notable miracles. When the madman in Gadara was healed, the impact of his transformation, being in his right mind, was so powerful, he single-handedly brought a decapolis. Ten cities. Remember the woman at the well who had an encounter with Jesus. Notice that these people never came back alone. She, she was too grateful. There's no place where Jesus instructed her to go and bring people. This is what happens when people taste of the wonder working power of God. They become too grateful to keep quiet. Do you know what? They don't just tell them God is alive. They draw them to the place where the miracle happened. I believe God. Please stretch your faith shake off the doubt and the fear can God make a way in the wilderness I'm, I'm reintroducing faith to you gentlemen hear me you are not the first to seek establishment do not allow the territory bully you you come in a name there is a name that defies your background there is a name that defies limitations this is the God that we serve I believe him with all my heart and we are going to pray I sense tonight that someone will have to walk out of his church. You, you, you will wave that yesterday goodbye. You will wave those chains goodbye. That you will never forget this conference for the rest of your life. Now listen, you may sit back wondering like you've always done. Can God really make a way? I assure you I know what will happen to you already. We will share the grace and your situation will remain. But for those who will be angry and say, Lord, I plunge into this. We are tired of discussing issues. We are tired of deliberations without result we declare that your wonder working power let it be introduced over this situation then you will see the mighty one arise he says the name of the lord is a strong tower the righteous can enter it and they are safe the last one year has been about the most challenging in modern history as we know at least the last 50 60 years and so many people have lost money lost businesses sadly many have lost loved ones businesses have packed up even ministries have packed up and people are in a place now that is the exact environment that attracts the wonder working power of god no wonder the Lord spoke to his choice servant to name this conference the God of wonders. Because you see, um, 
if you shine light in the day, it may be ignored. The Bible says when you see darkness, when you see darkness covering the earth and even gross darkness, the people prepare is a signal that you should be ready because your light is about to shine. As a result of it, verse 3, Isaiah 60 says, Gentiles will come. You will no longer look for them. Gentiles will come to your light and even their arrogant kings like the queen of Sheba that they will come to the brightness of your rising. There is a dimension of God that we must pray that it is revealed in our lives. You're a man and a woman of God here respectfully let me challenge you. We must trust God to hold superior dimensions of his powers in these days. Because people, this pandemic pushed people to do a lot of things. People have resorted. The rate at which people return back to idolatry, return back to a lot of things. And I'm not talking of idol worshippers. I'm talking of sincere people who love God. And that is the most human thing to do in the face of such a difficult situation as this. So here is a chance again we have. Ah, Kali Baruski Apata. A chance once again to introduce the God of wonders. To say, hey, it's creation. The creator is still alive. He is life himself. But we must be able to demonstrate that reality. I look forward to times when people become restless because there is no service they loiter around the house of God and say when will that door be open because we have discerned by experience that every time we found ourselves here the mountains it, it looked like there was an invisible hand I, I don't know what happened but while Apostle Goodhart was preaching to my shock suddenly someone was calling me on a Sunday morning come for the job come for the job do they call employees on Sunday morning but that's what happens God made it on Sunday so that when you are threatened while as a staff there, you will remember, you will draw from the archives of how you got there. Listen, don't waste your testimonies. Save them. You will need to draw from them. Oh, David, when you kill the lion, don't forget. When you kill the bear, don't forget because Goliath is coming. You will need to draw from the God of wonders and what he did yesterday for your deliverance. The Bible frowns at people who forget. He said, bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not. It's a tendency in men. Mama, don't forget how the twins came. Don't forget that it was five years. They told you you had no fallopian tube. God said, let the doctor finish because there's something I want to do. And when the children came, where they stayed is a mystery and a wonder. And the day your son tells you, will I ever make it? You say, come sit down, let me tell you a story. 30 years ago, I was told I will never have you. You see, this is why many of our mothers have faith. They may not speak in tongues, but there is an archive of the wonder-working power of God. So when they say the child will not rise, mama will go back and say, I may not be educated, I may not be this and that, but there was a song I sang in 1975. I sang and I danced like a mad woman that brought me a miracle. Where is the God that did that yesterday? Listen, don't waste your testimonies. While you celebrate them, archive them. I assure you, the last battle you fought is not the last you will fight in this your life. This our walk of faith is a fight. God is already ministering to someone. We are going to pray. Why is my soul downcast? Where is the God that gave you the ministry? Can he not sustain it? Have you forgotten his outstretched arm? Have you forgotten how he delivered you from an accident? What is a blood condition that the God of heaven cannot lift you in? Some of you were, were kidnapped, literally, and yet you are out. What in the world makes you think God will allow you to die hungry if his jealousy kept you with no support? The wonders of God an instrument of deliverance don't forget this one of the ways that he delivers us from evil is to stretch his hand 
motivated by his love and his jealousy and i see that god is going to arise because there, there are certain families that the story the narrative the devil is already creating if god does not show up they will write something and say god is not powerful and for his name's sake he's about to arise and say not so not so uh, you see any when you include god in any equation the calculation changes failure plus god is the answer he gives weakness plus God is the answer he gives who is like him lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down and every ocean roll to the king of kings it's a question who is like him the lion and the lamb seated on the throne mountains bow down every ocean roll to the lord of lords I will praise Adonai From the rising of the sun To the end of every day Praise Adonai All the nations of the earth All the angels and the saints Sing praise Listen, let me tell you something I cried unto the Lord Apostles and I said, Lord, please do not send me with only a message. I don't even have an advantage based on my background. If all I have to give is just a lecture and a message, someone will be angry enough to kill me one day. Jesus was not only sent with a message. Uh -uh. From age 12, he already began to read. But the Bible tells us, that as he came out of the waters it says the heavens were open and the Holy Ghost descended upon him in bodily form as in a dove the Bible says then he was driven to the wilderness and when he fasted 40 days and 40 nights your Bible says he returned in the power and his fame went around it went about listen make up it there are people who the Lord wants to bring out of situations that only God only God can take you out of. please take it high for me guys someone sing for me Nathaniel Bass's song once again may your people see you lifted in my life Is someone praying bring your business before the Lord bring your family before the Lord bring the issue of concern before your maker turn my life around in the name of Jesus make a statement through my life make a statement through my life in the name of Jesus the Lord to turn your life living wonder in the name of Jesus the Bible says for everyone please help that woman to do that answers prayer shall everyone come all flesh come father visit my ministry sign once upon once again upon my ministry let it be clear that I was sent by God sign upon my business oh God sign upon my children arise as the God of wonders that you are please pray please pray don't waste the session
Don't be silent. release my faith for a testimony a demonstration of your wonder working power by your outstretched arm deliver me from financial crisis deliver me from sickness deliver me from the jaws of death it says when you pray say deliver us from evil Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please listen to me. Let me encourage you respectfully joining faith with your man of God and his wife. Please do not miss the remaining sessions of this conference. Whatever sacrifice you will make, make that sacrifice with your heart opened. Are we together? I really sense in my spirit that there are people that God wants to visit very definitely in this conference. Now, let me say this. I'm about to pray for you. As much as possible, let's, let's honor the COVID rules. There's so much we can, only so much we can do. But then, whether you are an usher or not, anyone is under the anointing close to you, please do well. Your brother's keeper, it won't stop you from receiving. Are we together? But there are situations. If there's a way they can bring them and they can arrange them without compromising on COVID rules, that, please, because God wants to do something here. Thank you, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands, please. Father, I'm declaring. Shout, praise the Lord. Please bring them out. I stretch my hands. Help that gentleman, please. Please, whether or not you are an usher, just let me have them out. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing it come on people's feet. It is it's a mighty deliverance that is coming on people. Please quickly, just, just bring them out very quickly. You call it the God of wonders. That oppressions will stop. Now, I want to pray for... There are people here, you are standing here, but prophetically you are representing families. There are families that God wants to set free now. In the name of Jesus, the hand of God is coming upon you. Families, bring them. I stretch my hands by the God of heaven. Every family here represented inside, outside, following online. Every oppression that stops the praise of God from being heard from your family and your vicinity in the name of Jesus I declare let it be broken now 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 please bring them hallelujah who is David I'm hearing a name David you have a business so that we we, we may not, I have to work with that time. David, I'm hearing a name, David. Who is that, David? You are an elderly man, you're not a young boy. Is there someone like that? Oh, sir. Your name is David, sir. You're in business. What do you do, sir? Okay. Are you, a, you're an architect? Or okay no but you have to do with structures structures this is what I'm seeing so I want to pray for you please don't be embarrassed I'm looking at you ah I'm seeing my house oh you've been to my house I'm seeing you in my house oh dear I'm, I'm sorry I hope you're not embarrassed sir. I want to pray for you Someone will shout now under the anointing, loud to the hearing of everyone. Please bring that person here. There is a strong anointing. So I want to pray for you. What is Agbo? Is this mic working? What is Agbo? Please help us. Apostle, sir, I apologize. I will... What is Agbo? Agbo is the town. Sir, 
Agua is the town where the governor of Central Bank comes from. Where the governor of Central Bank comes from. There is a miracle that is coming for you from that place. I'm saying it in the open. Pray. Listen, let me tell you this. I know that people have abused the prophetic. Let me, I have to say this disclaimer. People have misused it. But please don't you mix the sacrifice of other innocent people who have spent time praying the price. I think I need to say that because every time we see supernatural things, you see, madam, you are surprised and you are asking, my God, what is this? This man, your wife, you. I'm hearing what you are saying now, madam, this woman. Your, is this your wife? Yes. This woman. She's surprised and I'm hearing her prayer and say, God, I know that this man preaches, but I've not seen that he's in a prophetic dimension like this. And God is saying to speak to you, to know that he's hearing you. And I'm stretching hands on you because that same grace is coming on you now. You will never be the same again. Can I tell you, there are people who fear God sincerely and have paid the price by the Spirit. We have not wasted the grace given to us. I'm saying this with all due respect because sometimes, you know, we just downplay people and think everyone, no, no, this is a ministry with integrity here. Are we together? And so that when you are blessed tomorrow morning when you are coming, as you are seeing this ministration, God is telling you someone who you know would have been here this night. Now it's now up to you to show love, to drag that person and say, suspend this business you have been struggling around. Come and get something that will change your life. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Sir, in the name of Jesus, can I pray for you, sir? I stretch my hands. Right now, in the name of Jesus, that anointing comes upon you. That grace for favor. Right now, oppression goes now. In the name of Jesus, it will never return to you again by the Spirit of the living God. There is someone here, the Spirit... I don't know if you are in ministry, but I'm seeing a strong prophetic grace. You are a woman, female now. In the name of Jesus, I'm seeing that unction come on you. Please, I want to bring that person out. There is a, a, a real dimension of the prophetic. This is a grace that has been following you for a long time. And there is a dimension of that prophetic grace. Bring them out. The wailing women, God is Pastor Opie, thank God you are here. There is a dimension, there are wailing women that God is lifting in this place. I'm speaking by the spirit of grace. Here at Roger, here at Reha I see. In the name of Jesus, we release that grace. The God of wonders is moving in the midst of his people, turning situations around. In the name of Jesus, please touch that guy who is near the, the AC. My friend, look at me. The Lord has answered your prayer. Mark the third week of, of March. The third week of March. The Lord is saying, I should tell you, the third week of March will be a strange month of lifting for you. The third week of March. Hallelujah. You were to go to Canada, I think October or November, but something happened, you could not go until now, you have not gone. Who is that person? Oh dear. Oh, wow. We will shout hallelujah we will shout praise the lord <laughs> hallelujah i'm seeing a family here truth is you are a blessed family but there is a land issue there is a major i don't mean one a major land issue i don't know if it's that you're having it with um the, the authorities who is that because if God does not step in for you I'm seeing them collect that land that property who is that person don't be ashamed where are, we are people you are wearing black you are wearing black like a black you're a lady this is is there someone like that oh dear my dear you believe in Jesus let me speak like the apostles. This is that. Look at me. My dear, shout Jesus as loud as you can. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. I command favor. Favor that overturns. Favor that overturns. Receive that grace now. Both of you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may the good hand of God come upon you. This is the woman I'm talking about. Come, madam. You're a member of this church? You came from... Please, Victor, if you're busy, let someone help us do the holding, please. 
Where is she coming from? I'm a regime member, sir. Please don't come out at random. Make sure you are. No, I'm saying where you are in, in this city. Yes, I live in Abuja. I live in Abuja. Okay. What's the issue? Because what I'm seeing, hold on. Where is your husband? I'm seeing you walk and in the spirit, I see you walk alone. And I'm seeing that that land is not even your own. That land belongs to your husband. Whose land is it? It belongs to my late husband. And now they want to take that land away from you. And truly, if I don't pray for you, it's even already finished. They will even take it away. But listen, I'm saying it in the open here. That if God be God, this woman you see standing. A miracle is going to happen this week that will surprise you. You will return back to this hallowed altar. And you will testify by the spirit of grace. I stand in faith with Apostle Goodheart and we release grace upon you. May the God of wonders visit you right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. You do jewelries. That's your business. Jewelries. Who is that person? I'm seeing jewelries. I want to pray for you. We we'll have to close. Please, I am, I am challenging you. This is more than just the conference of a church. This is a visitation to this city. Please listen to me. Make up your mind that tomorrow morning, tomorrow evening, you see, there's no need running around wasting time in a profitless labor when God can give you an encounter by investing a few hours of quality dedicated encounter. Are we together now? Please, I, I want you to make a covenant with God this night that you're going to draw somebody not just anybody you know people who really need the hand of god why do you go and people defraud you collect money to work out things when you can come and god can give you a visitation i don't say it with any attitude of sarcasm but i'm saying god is giving us an opportunity to be extensions extensions you're a businessman here you are from abia state who is that you are from abia state no, no, no. I, I don't mean you're interested in business. You are actively, you're a businessman. You are from Abia State. You're a tall gentleman. Oh. It's like, is it that he's a worker in this church or something like that? This is what I'm seeing. Who is that? What do you do? Media. Media. I have to pray for you. You used to do well, but something happened just went down completely it's an attack on you you see that um i'm not going to say everything here but you see mercy can speak let me just leave it at that you understand what i'm saying yes sir please come what do you do i don't know why god is visiting business people this night what do you do sir ah, i'm seeing there is god is connecting you with a company a Korean company. Please look at me, sir. You will start doing supplies. I'm seeing you like a, a I don't know if it's a distributor of something of I, technology items. Listen, you see the challenge with many business people is that when they come to church and God helps them, they now look at men of God as if we are out to collect money. No. You see that God puts us to not only prophesy but to back you up. So that whilst you are rising, you remember that you are being protected. The same grace that introduces you to dimensions has been mandated to defend you there. But there is this narrative people sell around that makes it look like men of... Maybe there may be people doing it, but just for you to know that there are people who fear God sincerely. You, you believe what I'm saying? Sir, listen to me. Except God is not God. By September... September, the dimension of wealth that is coming to you. Your prayer now should be grace to be consistent with spiritual things while you rise because money can distract. In the name of Jesus Christ, I release my faith with Apostle Goodheart, and in the name of Jesus, we release grace on you, supernatural grace on you. Ma, I want to pray for you. Are you based here? You're in ministry, ma. I'm seeing a walk in Canada. Oh. This is what I'm seeing. I, I hope I'm not embarrassing you. I'm sincerely sorry. I'm seeing a walk. There is a walk. That, no, no, no. I'm not saying she should answer. I'm just saying 
that there is a work that I'm seeing. So the prayer you have been praying, God has answered it. It's the will of God. It's not, it's not, it's the will of God. There is a dimension of work. The surprising thing is that I'm praying for this woman, but the person who will fall under the anointing is in the crowd. Bring that person. Because the same thing God is doing in her, God is doing in that person. Just, just allow me to do my crazy things. Few minutes, I'm off your stage. In the name of Jesus Christ, there's someone, a lady, the hand of God will come on you. You see, the thing about the anointing is that once the anointing is living, your hunger can draw it to you, even though it was not an issue that related to you. Praise the Lord. Madam, I pray for you. The woman of God is laying hands on you. I release my faith also. And I declare that every hindrance gives way. In the name of Jesus. You are here with your medical report. Please come with it. This is, I just saw someone in a vision. You are here. You, you have your medical report. Let me just pray. We may not be able to take all the time to pray for the sick. But you are here. You, you brought it with you. Please, I want to just pray quickly for that person. So that we'll wrap up. We have to pray. One of, one of the end time weapons of evil destruction, apostles, sir, is cancer. We have to pray and stamp that spirit that is just sweeping across families and the devil is using it to bring a lot of pain. Are we together now? Please, wait. someone here, you, you, you brought your medical... Who is that person? Please. God does not want us to end this service without a visitation for you. Who is that? I'm seeing a couple here. You've been trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Where are you? you look, look, at what the anointing, look at what is happening to her. Look at this. She's not even been prayed for. Look at this. This is the wonder working power of Jesus. Because that report is an evil report. This is a spirit. It's not sickness. It's an oppression. Please, where's that couple? Don't be embarrassed. You will return with the fruit of the womb. It's, it's, it's not a suggestion. You believe what I'm telling you. You see, before you believe a man, you go and find out. Please make sure you are married. Make sure you are married. Make sure you are married. We are Christians, please. Make sure you are married in the name of Jesus Christ. Is someone praying? Pray in the spirit in one minute. No, no, don't kneel, please. If couples trusting God, please come stand here quickly. Let's. If you are here, husband and wife, please still maintain social distance. Be sure that you will come and stand on this hallowed altar and let the world know that here at Riha I see this is the fruit of the manifestation of the God of wonders. All these ones that I've prayed for in the name of Jesus, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, that which you have come desiring, I'm praying for those under the anointing, in the name of Jesus, you go back with several, several deliverances, several miracles. You will stand on this altar and you will testify in the name of Jesus Christ. You can return back to your seat if you can. Those of you standing here, I want to pray for you. I've seen the God of wonders work miracles for me. Those with gifts and talents spoke prophetically. The mantles of Elijah, Paul and Timothy. I want to see that power. I command that spirit out of her now in the name of Jesus out out of her now every spirit that is responsible for barrenness of all sorts it must go now please be patient I want to pray for you hold on one of you here is standing for someone not yourself who is that Where is, where's the family? Huh? 
Where? They are. Or your family is at home. You are standing for someone. Your daughter. Your daughter. For marriage, for fruit of the womb. Uh -huh, because I'm seeing, what does she have on her throat? She cannot breathe. Surgery? Yes. You have, huh? surgery. you have been booked for surgery. When? April 1st. Yes, I'm seeing that there's supposed to be surgery. You believe in the power of Jesus? What's her name? Zoe. Zoe. Yes. What does that mean? Come. This is what I call a sign and a wonder. You see, signs and wonders are supernatural manifestations with messages attached to them. Why will God pick out a Zoe as a demonstration of the life of God? How old is she? Huh? Three years. Three years. You believe in the power of God? You are, you are, you are a member of this church? Where are you from? From East State. I have to pray. Ah! Please don't feel embarrassed. There are at least four or five times I've seen this thing whenever I am preaching. Aleku. Do you know anything about that thing? What is it? Like something that's. They say my, my cousin died two weeks ago. Your cousin died two weeks ago. And they said that's what killed him. It was like typhoid, but it was like he was eating his stomach till he died. I have to pray for you because I'm seeing that same thing coming on you. Thank God for a conference like this. My brother, we are not prophets of doom. If God identifies your situation, the reality of redemption speaks over you immediately. Do you understand? We are people of signs and wonders, but we are people of doctrine too. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of him now! Wherefore, the Bible says, God had so highly exalted him and given him a name, the Bible declares, and that that name is above every other name. Sir, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Zoe. Zoe, we speak over your life. May your name answer. For the Bible says, whatever Adam called it, that was the name thereof. I release my faith with Apostle Goodhart in the name of Jesus, and we declare Zoe, be healed now. We bring you the life and the power of this kingdom we so boast about. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed in Jesus name. My media man, in the name of Jesus Christ. You see, the prophetic has always been the tool of restoration. The Bible says they are taken for a prey and none see it restore. I stand releasing my faith with the man of God and we declare according to the word of the Lord. He said, Master, we have toiled all night, but I speak to you from tonight in the presence of everyone. We give life to your media outfit in the name of Jesus. We give it visibility in the name of Jesus. I prophesy Job 42 and verse 10. The grace that brought back the fortunes of Job because this is what happened to you. I decree and declare, let it come to you right now. Sir, you are standing here for fruit of the womb. But the Lord, what do you do? Huh? I work in the church office. Your church office. Yes. I want to pray for you. I just saw a book open over your head and the Lord is saying the book of remembrance is open over you. The Lord is saying for your faithfulness. This is what I'm hearing. You have been a faithful man. I don't know him from anywhere. But in the name of Jesus, the servant of God is laying hands on you and I'm releasing my faith with you. Leave the issue of child first. God wants to... Re to reward you to make a spectacle with your life i stretch my hands in the name of jesus and i decree and declare by the god of all grace that from tonight releasing my faith with apostle goodhart number one may your life change in a way that will marvel and surprise you take that grace right now in the name of jesus christ now for all of you standing here in the name of jesus i agree with you that every plague of darkness according to the time of life listen this thing is a grace it's not something if it's there is there if it's not there it's not there it's as simple as that i stretch my hands and i prophesy according to the time of life in the name that is above all names return with your children return with your children 
I speak to you prophetically remember not the former things nor consider the things of old for in this season the Lord is doing a new thing in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is doing a new thing the Lord is doing a new thing dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message do not keep the video to yourself share to as many as you can to help them bless check our home page for more of our messages subscribe to the channel comment on it like it see you on our next video bye pray 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 for your destiny the phase of development. Lord, grant me the discipline.